Hi, in my previous video, I showed you why sine A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you why cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Okay, the first thing we need to know is this. What is cos A plus B? Well, I'm going to write adjacent over hypotenuse here. And I'm also going to use the triangle OPR to get this answer. Now, on OPR, the adjacent side is OR. So I'll put OR up here. And the hypotenuse of OPR is 1. So I'll put 1 here. Therefore, cos A plus B equals O R. Now, what we have to find next is cos A. So I'll put adjacent over hypotenuse here. We are going to need the triangle O P Q to get this answer. That's OPQ. Because as you can see here, the angle of OPQ is just A. So the adjacent of OPQ is OQ. And the hypotenuse of OPQ is 1. Therefore, cos A equals O. Q. Since this is the case, I'm going to write cos A right over here, as it is O Q. Now we're going to find sine A. So opposite over hypotenuse. And we're going to use the same triangle O P Q to get this answer. Now the opposite of O P Q is P Q. So I'll put PQ over here. And the hypotenuse of OPQ is 1. So therefore, sine A equals PQ. Since this is the case, I'm going to write sine A over here, as it is PQ. All right, let's move on to the next step. Let's figure out what cos B is. So we'll put adjacent over hypotenuse here. We are going to use the triangle OQS to get this answer. That's OQS. Now, the adjacent of OQS is OS. So I'll put OS up here. And the hypotenuse of OQS is cos A. Now, if we multiply this fraction here by cos A, then we must do the same to cos B. Therefore, cos A multiplied by cos B equals O. S. We have almost completed this proof. To be able to finalize it, we have to find out what sine B is. So let's write down sine B, which is opposite over hypotenuse. We will be using the triangle PTQ to get this answer. This is PTQ, because the angle here is B. Now, the opposite of PTQ here is TQ, right? And the hypotenuse of PTQ is sine A. Now, if we multiply this fraction right here by sine A, we have to multiply sine B by sine A. Therefore, sine A multiplied by sine B equals T.
Q. Right, now that we've got everything we need, we can prove that cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. We can prove this by writing down OR equals OS minus TQ. Since we know that OR is cos A plus B, we can write down cos A plus B right here and then put the equal sign next to it. Since we know that OS is cos A cos B, we can put it down here. And since we know that TQ is sine A sine B, we can put sine A sine B right here. So as you can see, this equation below relates to this equation above here. Now let's look at the line OR, right? As we can see, OR is OS, which is OS, minus TQ up here. Now TQ is the length of RS, so what we're basically saying is OS minus RS equals OR. But we know that TQ is the same length as RS. Therefore, OR equals OS minus TQ. So this proves that cos A plus B equals cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Thanks for watching.